My name's Michael Higley, I'm the head physiotherapist at Derry City Football Club and, and these unprecedented times, uh, especially given the lockdown period that we're in at the moment, we as a club feel it's important for our senior supporters to try and maintain or try and be as active as possible. And given the difficulty of this lockdown, it's obviously unable to get out and about and do things, is that we, we wanted to just devise a little video showing some home exercises uh, and how to do them and how simple and easy it is to do at home. Basically all you need is a chair. So we're going to just go through some of these little exercises to see if we can give you some tips on what to do. So the first exercise that we're going to do is we're going to just target the neck. Okay, so if just in sitting, kitchen chair, sitting up nice and straight. Uh, and if I get you just to bring the right ear down towards the right shoulder, just until you feel a little stretch on the left hand side of the neck. Hold for five seconds, bring the head up and the left ear down to the left shoulder, feeling the stretch on the opposite side of the neck. Again, we hold for five seconds and back up. And we aim to do three reps on each side of the neck. Okay, so on to the second exercise. So again, just working at the neck and we'll get you to have a look over the right shoulder. Again, hold for five seconds, back to the middle, and over to the left. And same again, we're aiming for three reps each side. Good. So we work down then onto the shoulders. So we just clasp both hands together, arms right up over the head, stretch up as far up as we can, hold for three seconds, and back down. Arms right up over the head. Stretch it back as far back as we can and relax down. So we hold for three seconds and we're aiming for five reps of this exercise. The next exercise, right arm, stretch it up over the head, bring it right across to the left and we should feel a nice stretch down the right hand side of the body. Again we hold that for five seconds and chain sides. So stretch the left arm right across to the right, feeling that nice stretch down along the left side of the body. Hold for five seconds. And we'll do three reps on each side. Okay. And the final little exercise in sitting is feet shoulder width apart, feet flat on the ground, so I'm going to get you just to slide the right heel back as far as it goes, straighten the leg out and pull the toes back towards the head. So it's important just that we remember to pull the toes back towards the head. And just stay on the same leg. And we do five reps on each leg before changing sides. So left heel back as far as possible, straighten the leg out and toes up towards the head. So up on the standing, and we'll, we'll video this just from a side on angle, so you can get a better view of what, what we're doing. So use the chair, the chair back for your um, support. So keep both hands on the chair back, feet pointing forward, shoulder width apart, and bend the knees down slightly. Hold for three seconds and straighten the legs up. So just a subtle little knee bend, Double leg. Okay. So over the next couple of weeks, we let you stay work up so we can do 10 in a row of this little exercise. Okay. So in the same position, so keep the, the hands on the chair back, feet shoulder width apart. We come rock forward onto the toes and lift the heels up off the ground, hold for three seconds and relax down. And the, the same with this exercise, we'll be aiming to work our way up so we're, we can do 10 reps. And 
just make sure you hold for three seconds. And just to progress on from that little exercise, is we're going to do the opposite. So again, hands on the chair back for support, feet shoulder width apart, and we need to rock back onto the heels. So we're pulling the toes and the front of the foot up off the ground. Hold for three seconds, come back down. Up again, hold for three seconds, come back down, and up again, hold for three seconds, and back down. So we're also hoping to build up to do 10 reps of that exercise. Okay, so still staying in the same position, and this time we just bring the left leg right out behind us, keeping the back nice and straight so we're not leaning forward. And we should feel that at the back of the hip. And just hold for two or three seconds at the, the end range. And we'll do five of these on the right and left leg. So again, just making sure we keep it back nice and straight. Perfect. So, on to the next exercise is side on to the back of the chair. So, hand on on the back of the chair to give us that stable base and support. And we're going to lift the left leg up off the ground. So we're going to hold for 10 seconds, single leg balance. And away we can just progress this on so we can remove that hand off the back of the chair to remove that support. And relax down. So if we feel a wee bit unstable or unsteady in it, is it we put the hand back on the chair or put the foot down. So we hold for 10 seconds and we'll do three reps on each leg. Perfect. So the last couple of exercises now. So turn the chair around and back down in this setting. So feet shoulder width apart, back nice and straight, feet flat on the ground. And we'll slide the feet back slightly. So you're going to push the heels and the soles of the feet down into the ground, hands on the knees, slight forward lean, and come up on this stand. So nice and slow and controlled, same with the descent, and we're lowering down back onto the chair. So nice and slow and controlled. Lean forward, up we come, and back down. So push through the heels, into the ground, up we come, nice and straight, straighten the knees out and lower back down. So with this exercise we'll be hoping to build this up so we can do a set of 10 as well. And back down, perfect. So our final little exercise, move the chair into the road. Alright, so we we'll just use the space here on the living room floor or if you're using the kitchen or whatever at home. And we're just going to do what we call lateral walks, okay? So we start with feet together, so step a left foot out, join it with the right. Left foot out, join it with the right. Left foot out, join it with the right. So making sure we keep our hands and hips and keep our back nice and straight as well. We'll be looking to do four or five steps to the left. And four or five steps to the right. When we can build it up, we can do two or three sets of each of those exercises. So that's nice and short, folks. And um, I say it'll be simple to do at home. And you can see you can use uh, the open space at home, you can use the comfort of your own home to do this. And the one thing we would say is that on behalf of Derry City Football Club. We thank you for adhering to all the, the social distancing and we just hope that everybody stays safe. Thanks very much and we hope to see you all soon back at the Brandywell.